Today, don't you? Oh, I got some great lingerie there, right? Wait you, get oh, it? I thought it was fantastic. I couldn't believe that you got that stuff. It was oh, really... Isn't that Trevor over there? Trevor? Yeah. Hey, let's go say hi. Okay. Okay. Trevor, how you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. How's your family? How's your mom? Trevor, it's us, Miss Smith and Mrs. Quinn. I know who you are. And how I've been is none of your business. And as far as my mother's concerned, well, why don't you go ask her yourself? Boy, oh boy, he turned out to be a rude one. His mother sure didn't raise him right. My goodness. Well, I'll tell you something. He wasn't always like that. He was a lovely little boy. I remember him. A nice kid. Discipline, that's what he needs. I know it's too late, but if he were mine, I would have boxed his ears a long time ago. No child of mine will ever disrespect anyone like that. By the that. way, when's your son coming up for parole? Oh, not for another three years. Some of that Christmas chip. What would you like? Yo, I've been coming here so damn long. You know what I want. Yeah, you know you're right, man. Yeah. Right. Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. If you really want to wish me a Merry Christmas? Why don't you give me this here bottle for free? I actually got something better for you than that. No, so keep it there, Cal. It's not a cow, no. Then what is it? Money? It's actually better than money. Ain't nothing better than money. It's this. What? Pray for you. Prayer? Yeah, why don't you take that prayer and you can shove it. Look, you're lucky it's Christmas. Besides, who you praying to? There ain't no God. There is a God. 
And is always with you. And if there's a God, he left me a long time ago. Con Dios. Con Dios. What you need to do is get a job already. I'm so tired of you hanging out with your deadbeat friends all the time. Babe, I've been looking for work. No one's hiring right now. What do you mean that no one's hiring right now? It's Christmas season. Everybody's hiring right now. You think that just because you give me a little bit of money from your unemployment check that everything is okay. Well, you know what? It's not. Okay. It's the end of the year already. I promise I'll get a job after the new year. <laughs> I'm sorry, did I get promise? Promises, promises, promises. You're always promising. You know my sister's right. It's the holidays, puppy. You know, everybody's hiring right now for the holidays. But no, you just want to sit in front of the computer all day long doing Lord knows what while my sister pays the bills, cleans, and cooks for you while you should be doing that for her. Really? As if he was actually looking for a job on the computer, but all he's doing is playing with his idiotic games all the time. That's a shame. Girl, you better hope that's all he's doing. Imagine if he's in one of those porn sites. Better yet, talking to a girl. Really? What would I see that? If she only knew what loser you were, I'm going to put a sign really big. Loser. Loser. And who wants to talk to a deadbeat loser? Who wants to talk to a guy that doesn't even pay his bills? You know that we are so behind on the mortgage right now? Yeah. And we can't even pay our phone bill. And you know our credit cards? I mean, the bills just keep mounting. All I know is that we better not lose this house. Girl, not to add wood to the fire, baby girl, but let me tell you, I answered the phone five times today, and guess who they were? Debt collectors. What are you doing answering my phone? You don't even live here. Shut up! Don't talk to my sister like that! And you know what? She can answer the phone whenever she wants. That's it. I gotta get some air. Bye bye. Where the hell do you think you're going? That's bye. it. Bye bye. Is that what you're gonna go do? You're gonna go hang out with your delicious friends. That's what I'm gonna hang out with my because friends that's again. That's what you always do. That's what I always you do always because do. this is what I get at home. What else would I'm I do? I'm so tired of this. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of it. Get out there. Hey, Mama, what's going on? Did you guys have a good time? Oh, she was such an angel. Oh, Mama, that's wonderful. Listen, Merry Christmas. I hope you have a good one, okay? Merry Christmas. I'll see you later. All right, sweetheart. Bye. I don't care if you don't get me a gift, but you damn well better get your daughter something. I know I don't pray like I used to. But do you know that poem, Footsteps? It's about that time. I need your help. I need you to carry me. Vicky, I stood up for you this time. Please, don't talk to him like that again. What are you getting all worked up for? 
I was just looking out for you. Now you over here like being all malagradecida? Well, I'm his wife, okay? You're not. Just please do me a favor. May that be the first and the last time. Thank you. You, you, you know, you, you're gonna have to excuse me, but I don't know how it is that you are so crazy about this bum. Because he's a bum. Well, I just do. I love him very much. And I don't expect you or anybody else to understand that. You know, I... I sincerely feel the love you have for him. You've come a long way. And I admire that. You know what? I guess it's just... Maybe someday, I hope to have that kind of love. You know, it's, it's just hard. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. Snow is falling so peacefully. The lights adorn your Christmas tree, and the children sleep so restlessly. They're dreaming of Christmas morn. The church bells ring. Rejoice, rejoice. God's people sing in one loud voice Peace and joy to one and all Baby Jesus is born Merry Christmas from God to man For the hope is in His Son He came to save Show that we can all live in peace as one. Christ the King is born. Christ the King is born. Christ the King is born. From there. You got it. Ma, I see that you're cooking all this food. Uh, you expecting some guests? No, it's just you, the kids, and I. Well, the kids don't eat that much, Ma. I know, but I'm also cooking for your father. Oh. Dad's not here, Ma. He's not coming back. When are you going to get this through your thick skull already? And stop lying to yourself. You don't know that. Besides, a wife, she knows these things. No, he's not, Ma. And I know you don't want to hear this, but Dad is dead. Okay? He's somewhere in Iraq dead. They just haven't found his body yet. Don't say that. He is alive. And he is coming home. When, Ma? Huh? He's coming home today? Maybe tomorrow he'll come. See, you just don't want to tell the kids the truth. You think you're helping them, Ma? Huh? By giving them false hopes? Because you're not. I'm not giving them false hopes. Yes, you are, Mom. And I'm getting sick and tired of watching you every day, crying and praying and sitting by the phone and watching the door like a freaking nut. Dad is dead, Ma. You hear that, kids? Dad's dead. Okay? How dare you? What gives you the right to tell me how I should feel? 
What do you want me to tell you? You want me to tell you that the man that I love for 30 years is dead? You don't think that I think about it every time that I see the news? Or that every time that a car stops in front of the house? That the army's coming to tell me that my husband is dead. My husband of over 30 years, that he's gone. And I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. You know, son, you know this anguish that I feel here. Deep down in here. It's tearing me apart. But it's killing me, son. Is that what you want me to tell you? Is it? Because it is. I know, Ma. But Ma, you're killing us too. Mom, is Ricky right? Is Dad dead? Is it true what Ricky said, Mom? Is Dad dead? No, he's not dead. Then why? Why would he say that? You know what? Ricky's afraid, that's all. Don't pay any mind to him. Your father's coming home. You'll see. Excuse me, sir. Do you happen to have any change? Uh, I'm very hungry. I, I haven't eaten in days. Really? More like you haven't gotten drunk in days. You're pitiful, man. What's up, fellas? What's up? Come on in. Oh. Left us some Christmas cheer, huh? Was gone. We gotta go home and face the music. Home. This place isn't even a home anymore. Nobody's waiting for me. Home's the last place I want to be right now. What, that pretty little wife of yours waiting for you? If I had a wife like yours, I wouldn't be sitting here with you two losers, that's for sure. When you should say losers. Because that's exactly what my wife thinks about me. Yeah? Why is that? I've been out of work a few months now. No one's hiring. The only jobs out there right now are seasonal. But my unemployment check, it pays more than those jobs. Not even that's cutting it anymore. I get nothing at home but grief. Yeah, it's true, man. Nobody's trying to hire me. Yeah, you had a good job until you started hitting this bottle hard. And then you lost it all. Ricky, change the subject, okay? Yeah, my bad, Trav. I know what you're going through, man. I, I can see your pain every time we hang out. How you know how hard it is? How you understand how I feel, huh? How do you understand how I feel? You want to know who knows me? Do you really want to know? Right there. This here bottle, that's who. 
If it wasn't for liquor, I would have been crazy. I'm losing this house. My mom left me. My mom left me. And without her in it, I don't even care. I'm sorry, Trav, man. It's, it's got to be hard losing somebody on Christmas. Especially your mother. Yeah, you have no idea. Ricky. Let's just change the subject. Yeah. Come on, man. Remember how Christmas used to be? You remember. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. My family come over to your house, sing and dance all night long. magnificent meal we are about to receive. Thank you to our hosts, Vinny and Sonia, who are so kind to have us over for dinner. And I also want to thank you for bringing our family and friends together, old and new. On this, my favorite holiday, bless everyone. Especially my mom. Aww. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Let's eat. Yes. Right. Oh, Ma, Ma, I left my hat. Okay, I'll wait for you in the car. Okay, I'll be right there. Right there. Oh. Missing something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually. Hey, um, yeah, I was thinking if you're not doing anything this Saturday, I would, I would love to take you out to dinner. You know what? I'd like that. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Okay, all right, all right then. All right, I'll call you then, all right? I'll, I'll call you. Okay. I'll call you later. <laughs> I'm going.
We partied like a month. You know us Puerto Ricans? We party from Thanksgiving Day to Three Kings Day. Hey, yo, V. <laughs> You're not Puerto Rican, man. You're Italian. My wife is, same thing. <laughs> but he's right, though. Us Latinos, man, we party from November 25th through January 6th. Yo, we know how to party. I did, too. It's not anymore, though. Yeah, not all Christmases were good. I remember one year, I wanted these toy cowboy guns. So I wrote to Santa, Christmas morning comes, I wake up, there's some cheap toy under the tree. Boy, was I mad. Well, until next year came around again, so I asked Santa for the same cowboy guns again. And again, I got something else. I remember when I found out there was no such thing as Santa, I felt so stupid. But still, I can't blame my parents. I still haven't told my own daughter that there's no such thing as Santa. I remember for Christmas, man, my parents, man, they were so much in love. So happy. <laughs> we're all happy. Man. I wish for those days again. Yeah, you know, even though we were poor, those are some of the best times of my life. Singing in the chorus at PS 158, mm -hmm. seeing all the smiles on all the parents' faces, and walking home on Christmas Eve in the light snow, holding my father's hand, looking at all the lights in all the houses. Man, I'll never forget those days. Boy, I miss my parents. Forget Christmas a yesteryear. Look at us now. Ricky, your dad's missing in Iraq, man. Vincent, you ain't got no job. You're broke. You're always fighting with your wife. But at least you got a family. Look at me, man. I got nothing. I got nobody. You got family, Trev. You got us. Oh, Trev, man. We your family, man. We like your brothers, man. You know, we all got something in common. We all ain't got no dough. You want to know something, Trev? Yo, since my dad's been missing, I'm the one who pays all the bills in the house, man. I don't have a dime to my name. I can't buy my moms, my sister, or my brother Anything, man. Yeah, you're, you're right. The, the booze halfway. Man, give me that. Don't guard it. And I can see our future. Vince is divorced. Ricky, single, playing daddy for the family. The best I got. In jail. Oh, I did. Oh my God. 
Yo, Trav. Trav, you all right? Way to brighten things up, Trevor. Yo, I hate to say this, V, man, but I think Trav's right. Man, you guys are depressing. Not us, man. It's his damn holiday. Piercing my eyes from the sun. I look through my window. God, Ricky. I feel so bad for Trevor losing, losing his mom like that last Christmas Eve. Yeah, went to a drunk driver too. Now all I have is pain. Still can't believe it. Ricky. I don't want to go home. I got no money. I got no gifts for my family. To make matters worse. My wife's sister's staying with us. She could get real nasty. Yeah, man, I got the same problem, too. I ain't got no money. I got no gifts for my brother or sister. And I don't even got a small dollar gift for my mom. All she really wants is for my pops to come home. What's the story with that? The government tell you anything yet? Nah. I had a fight with my moms earlier about that. She got these hopes that my dad is still alive, and I told her to get a grip on reality, because dad is gone. Shouldn't have done that, man. Not for Christmas, anyway. Sometimes hopes and dreams are all we got. Pictures of you, so many yeah. Maybe my timing was wrong. But everyone has to come to grips with reality. Because sooner or later, they're going to label you crazy if you don't. You know why we drink? <laughs> yeah, to get drunk. No. To escape reality. Your mom's just doing the same thing. But without the drugs and alcohol. She's being real, man. So don't blow her mind like that. I hate to see my mom's like that. I miss my pops too. I'm here for you, buddy. Just be strong, okay? Things always have a way of working themselves out. Not this time, huh? My dad's not coming back, V. I'm trying to be strong for my moms. I really am, man. Huh? But I can't hide this pain no more. It's eating me up inside. Cheer up, Ricky. You don't know that for sure. I told him. My mom's begged him not to go to Iraq. That it was too dangerous there. But you know what he told us? Don't worry. Contractors are not in danger there. And I knew he was lying. You know, just trying to ease my mom's fears. But it's all my fault. You know, we needed money. It's not your fault. I mean, nothing from the army either? Nah. Last I heard, he was a hostage somewhere in Iraq, and that was a couple months ago. My mom and I don't talk about it much. I 
just pray, man, that it doesn't come on TV or anything. Because I don't want my little brother or sister to find out that way. Well, he's always in my prayers, Ricky. <laughs> prayers. Oh, God, prayers. And I want my little a holy woman. Your dad didn't save him. <laughs> Ricky, man, your dad's probably dead. Eventually you're gonna be in divorce court soon if you don't do something. Skippy, you gotta stop trying to cheer us up like that, okay? But you're probably right about one thing. I do need money to buy my family gifts. I don't wanna lose Sonia. Yeah, I need money too. I gotta go home and tell my moms I'm sorry, man. Every night I see her crying and praying, you know? Or I could just see her not crying for just one night. I mean, I know I can't get my mom's what she wants, but... If I could just get her a little something, you know? Yo, guys, man. You know what we need? We need a miracle. Yeah, I mean, all the stores are still open. If only we had some money. We can do it. With this. Where'd you get that from? Yo, man, is that loaded? I bought it a while back, and it's loaded. Yo, you gotta get rid of that. It could have been used for a murder or something. And with our luck, they'll blame us for it. Vinny, don't you need gifts for your family, right? Yeah, so? And Ricky, you want gifts for your mom, your brother, your sister, right? Yeah. I want to get him something, but... Then we, this is our answer, man. We don't have a choice. Look, we'll rob a store or something. Or we'll hold somebody up. I don't know, man. This is not us. And who are we going to rob? Huh? I mean... I don't want to rob no hard-working dude. Vincent. If you don't go home with something. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't care if you don't get me a gift, but you damn well better get your daughter something. Let's do it. Yo, hold up, hold up. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. 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 God help us. Come on, let's just do this. Now you talk. So, don't try anything stupid. Move it. Get over there. Drop the bag and give me all your money. I have no need for money, son. Guys, look at all the stuff in here. Now just take the bag and let's get out of here. Oh, you got money. And don't call me son. <laughs> okay, Trevor. But I still don't have any money. Oh, how do you know my name? I knew you from your birth. 
Yo, man, this dude might be your uncle or something. Hey, guys, we got gifts here for like a year. Come on. How do you know me? I know your mom, Esther. She's a wonderful woman. You knew my mom? I still know her. You're breaking her heart. She's very disappointed with you. Yeah, well, that shows how much you know. My mother's been dead a year now. Only in the flesh, Trevor. Not in the spirit. And you really need to understand the difference. Yo, forget this dude, man. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ricky, you can run, but you can't hide from yourself. What? Yo, hey, yo, how do you know my name? Look, I don't understand you guys. You and Vincent have been good all year. And now, tonight, Christmas Eve, you guys decide to be naughty? Whoa. How do you know our names? <laughs> I know all my children's names, and you know mine as well. It's me. Santa? Is that really you? Vincent! Come on, Vincent! For real? Santa? Oh, man, no, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Yeah, Trevor, where you going, oh, man? No. Trevor! Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Trevor! Mom. Mom. It's not really you. My son, my beautiful child. Is that really you? Yes, sweetie. What are you doing with that gun in your hand? Mom, I've missed you. I missed you too, son. Why did you leave me? Why did you leave me all alone? You're not alone. I'm always with you. Would you come back home, huh? Come back home. I can't, baby. God needs me. I don't believe in God anymore. God is real, son. And he loves you. If God loves me, then why did he take you? Why did he leave me like this, with this pain? God didn't take me. We choose our own paths in life. The man that separated us, he chose to drink and drive that day. And I see you've chosen to follow in his footsteps. Mom, it, this just drowns my sorrows. No, baby. It just amplifies your sorrows. You're right. Just like always. Mom, I'm so sorry. I didn't raise you this way. Please. Love me in death as you did in life. Mom, I promise you, I'll change. Just stay here with me. Please. That's my baby. But I have to go now. Oh, God. Mom, please, take me with you. Mom, there's, Mom, there's nothing for me here. Can't you just take me with you? It's not your time. Remember, have faith in God and have faith in yourself. I 
love you, Ma. I love you so much. And I love you with all my heart. Make me proud. Trevor, you okay? No. Hey, look at me. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Why don't you give me that? Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Hey, Vincent. When you were a little boy, didn't you want a set of toy cowboy guns? Yeah, I was just telling the guys about that. I never did get them. Do you know why? No. Your parents, they never wanted you to have them. Why? They feared that one day you might actually have a real one in your hands. Hurt somebody else or possibly yourself. That's crazy. I would never... I see. And what is it Espy wants for Christmas this year? She wants a real pony. <laughs> and what do you think? Should I bring it? No. We have no place to put a real pony. And she won't understand that either. Until she gets older. You're right, Santa. I'm sorry. I just needed money to buy my wife and my daughter a gift. My sister-in-law is right. I am a deadbeat. Things will get better. I've got a gift for you. What could I possibly deserve? Hope. And you're not a deadbeat. You're just going through hard times, like everybody else. But you must remember not to ever give up on hope. I won't. Here. I think you better take this. Before it gets us to even more trouble. Vincent. Pick out whatever you want in the bag. You sure? Yes, son. I'm positive. Thank you, Santa. Now I have something to bring home to my family. Now what's wrong with you guys? Do you really think this guy is real? He's real, Ricky. Ricky, this is Santa. Santa, are you both crazy? I know what it is. I know what it is. It's the liquor, right? Right? That's what it is. It's the liquor. Ricky. You know something? You can fool them, but you're not fooling me. And if you're really Santa, then you must know God. Ricky? Yeah. Ricky. Everyone knows God. We know of him, but you... You must know him personally. We are all his children. 
You know him as well as I do. Then as our father, why can't he hear our cries? Huh? Why can't he hear my mom's crying every night? She prays every night that he walks through that door. I see my mother. I see my mother aging right in front of my face. I see my mother losing her faith. Ricky, she's not losing her faith. You're losing yours. Can you blame me? You see, I'm not like my little brother and sister. They're very naive. When my mom tells us that my dad is going to return, I know that he's not. You see, he's somewhere in Iraq as a hostage. And those people, they don't let anybody come back. They kill them all. So don't tell me about having faith because common sense is reality. Ricky, haven't you ever seen Miracle on 34th Street? <laughs> That's a movie. This is real life. Miracles happen in real life as well. Come you gotta believe. I'm sorry. I promise I will change my ways. But if you're gonna call the police, please just blame me. My friends, they have families and they just wanted to get them a gift for Christmas. I, on the other hand, I don't have a family. I, I want money to drink, ease my pain. But I was wrong. And I won't run. Just please let them go. Don't worry, Trevor. I never intended on calling the police. <sighs> what happens now? Like I said, you go home and you face the music. You better get going. You know, if you're flying around the world and all. I suppose you guys are right. Go home. Have a very Merry Christmas, but always remember, faith, hope, understanding, but most of all, love. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Listen up, guys, especially you, Trevor. You too, Ricky. Christmas, it was never about me. The day belongs to Jesus. Pray to him, often. The only way to the Father is through him. Merry Christmas, Sam. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Please, Jesus, forgive me for my stupidity. I don't want anything from me. I just want you to take care of my friends and family. Let them have a joyous holiday. And if you can, please take my mama's pain away. Amen. Come on, Ricky. By the way, happy birthday.
Hey guys, I just want to say I'm sorry about today. It's all good, Trav. No harm done. Everybody makes mistakes. Thank you. All right, fellas, well, I gotta get out of here. It's been quite an interesting night. <laughs> all right, man. See y'all later, man. Talk to you tomorrow. Guy willing. Let's go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> what a wild day. Oh, yeah. What are you going to tell your family? Nothing. Eh, it's probably a good idea. Hello? Hey. Yeah, I'm just at the park. Okay. Sounds good. I could do that now. Talk to you later. Hey, Trev. I think that girl that left that over here. You sure it's hers? Yeah, look. That's her. Oh, that's, uh... Oh, that's... It's a lot of money, really. Sure is. Let's go catch up. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You think this belongs to you? Yes, yes it does. Thank you so much. You can check. It's all in there. I'm sure it is. I don't know how to thank you guys enough. Let me give you a reward or something. No, we couldn't do that. <laughs> it's no problem, really. Okay. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And it'll be the best one ever. Ah, you again. You know, for your information, not all homeless people are alcoholics. You know something, you're right. I apologize for being a jerk, girl. You know, mister, if I had any change or I had any money, you know, I, I'll give it to you, but I don't. You know something, mister? I want you to have this. Wow. Wow. Thank you. You have a heart of gold. You uh, wouldn't have happen to have any change for that, do you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Mister, you have a Merry Christmas. You too. You too. <laughs> well, I guess this is it, huh? Yep. Time to face the music. Yeah. But you don't have to face it empty-handed.
Here. I want you to have this. No, Trevor. Yes, yes. That looks so expensive. Where'd you get that from? Oh, it belonged to my mom. And I almost pawned it. I just couldn't do it. But what am I going to do? Wear it? <laughs> I don't have anyone to give it to, so... Thank you, man. You're welcome. Uh, now go. Enjoy your family. Where do you think you're going? I don't know. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. You're not going to figure out anything. You're going to come eat with us. Come on, I know Sonia's cooking. You know Puerto Ricans, they celebrate Christmas Eve more than Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if you're there, Maybe we won't fight. Uh-huh, and that's why you want me to go with you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that? Be close to my friend. presents come from? Ha ha ha, very funny. This guy is such a comedian. Your name is on every single gift. You are so silly. You're staying for dinner. We are eating. I got some coquito. I got drinks. I got everything. We're eating. Okay, okay. Let me, let me get to the business. I'm gonna go serve. Oh my god. You even got me a gift? I had you figured out all wrong, Vincent. <gasps> Hello? That's my man. Get your own. Okay. M Merry Christmas. All right, but I have great news. I answered the phone again, yes. And guess who it was? Your company, the one you used to work for. They want you back. And, by the way, they want to know if you know someone to join the company because they just signed a new contract and they're expanding it so large that they need all the help they can get. So, yes! so anyways, the guy was so excited. On the phone, he just kept wishing us Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And what better way to celebrate Christmas? Merry Christmas! Come here! Oh, oh, congratulations! What? what? <laughs> Vicky! Yeah? You remember my best friend Trevor, right? Why, of course. How to ever forget those sexy eyes. Not as sexy as yours. You might need this more than me, after all. Good luck. Thanks. <clears throat> Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. I almost forgot. Come what? On. Oh, what? I believe this is for you. Oh, babe. It has your name on it, though. You gave yourself that? Parents gave it to me. What? Are you okay? Yeah.
I'm sorry, son. No. No. It's my fault, it's my. It's my fault. Ricky, look at all these gifts Santa brought us. Where did all these gifts come from? Elves. Elves, Ma? Yes. The girl that bought all those gifts and candies, she was so well dressed. She looked like a real elf. And the makeup, it was beautiful. I doubt it was makeup, Ma. You know what, son? Your father, when he sees all these gifts, he is going to be so happy. You know something, Ma? You're right. He is going to be happy. <laughs> Thank you, son. Thank you. Mom, the elf is back. Tell me about the game, Angel. Well, it was like a week ago. It was like the red against the blue, and we was on the red side. So um, I was like, all right, threw it back. The guy went all the way to the back. He got a good arm, so that's why I let him get the ball. So we went to the back, and all the big guys were coming at me. He said, red team, go. Red team, go. So I went to the back, and he threw it as far as he can. Oh, and man. Right after, right? <laughs> Hey, right, after, oh, nice. right, right after I got the touchdown, I caught it with both of my hands, yeah, right? And we won the game. Oh, we won the game. Oh, man. I was so great. excited. You have no idea, Dad. All right, kids. It's Mommy's turn to spend some time with Daddy. So go play with your gifts. Oh, you have to come to my practice. No, don't worry. I'm going I'm to be in a lot of your All practices. Right, I'm, I'm also glad you're back. Thanks. Right, man. I'm glad to be back. I'll see you guys later, okay? okay. Wow. Unbelievable. I knew you'd come home. Mm. I love you. I've missed you so much. So many times. I wanted to give up. But I kept on hearing your sweet voice telling me to come home. And I knew I had to come back. Thank you for keeping the faith. Sorry, Dad. Apologize to me. I'm the one that should apologize to you. I'm your father. 
I should have never left you guys. And I'm sorry. And I promise you, I will never leave you guys again. How'd you get away, Dad? Son, I'm trying to figure that out myself. I mean, the kidnappers, they came in one day with a different demeanor and told us we can all go. But I must have been going crazy because I thought I saw a guy that looked like Santa Claus talking to these three Arab guys who were, who were dressed strangely. Another thing caught my eye. There was a star in the sky shining real bright. And I said to myself, that star is also shining on my family. And when I looked down, all I saw was the American army headed my way. A star like that one? That's the one. It was shining on my family. It's a miracle. No, Ma. It's fate. I love the pin club ducks. Fran and New Birth S A M. We want to talk about how people take Christmas out of context. <laughs> Here we go, Martin. Let's go.
this is more than a holiday. Uh. Woo! Merry Christmas. <laughs>